COP21 was about reaching an agreement, and we did reach that agreement very successfully. COP22 is to take account of the progress which has been made since that agreement, which includes, I think, much more progress on ratification than anybody could have expected, and then about making more concrete those global agreements. So turning those global agreements into local actions, if you like. What we're here to do is to talk to colleagues uh, in other organisations, to talk to colleagues from other countries about the sorts of projects which we can do, the sorts of technical support and advisory support which we can provide to help make a reality of the commitment to shift the billions to trillions. As far as the climate strategy itself is concerned, we have, uh, we have drilled down and developed a number of action plans which we are taking forward to make that climate strategy a reality. As far as the overall targets are concerned, uh, we have met our minimum 25% target uh, every year for the last five years and we are on course for that again this year. And we are making very good progress on our additional target to get to 35% uh, of our lending in emerging and developing markets for climate action by 2020. So I think it's encapsulated in the billions to trillions phrase. Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's common consent now that, uh, that the scale of investment which is required to uh, make the world ready both for dealing with the consequences of climate action and to mitigate the effects of any further shift towards climate action are immense. So the scale needs to be wrapped up. That can only be done by bringing in private money. And so what we and other multilateral organisations can do is to continue to develop the very successful techniques which we've already developed for encouraging private finance and taking that forward.